so it's several le weeks, several weeks, idiot. It's several weeks later, I had some issues with the cylinder heads. Uh, I had sent them back to be cut uh, for smaller combustion chambers and they did such a shitty job that the jugs didn't actually fit in the head anymore. So I had to send those back and get new cylinder heads sent. Um, and then uh, that took a while. So now we're gonna try this whole thing again. I have everything cleaned up and ready to go. Um, I need to uh, oil these up and get them in their respective cylinders with the pins. Um, if I have any salvageable footage from the last one, then we'll use that. Um, and then, uh, you know, beat up on these and slap them on and torque everybody down and hope for the best. So let me, um, let me get these guys in place and get these ready to go on and then uh, I'll pick up uh, where things started to go wrong the last time. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is put the top end together. And uh, what we need to do first is figure out the compression ratio to make sure everything is good. Um, I think what I've seen most of the time is you wanna be somewhere between 7.8 and 8.3. People can go higher if they want, but for like a daily driver, anything beyond that, it's gonna to start to run a little hot, I guess. Could be talking out of my ass. Literally, I've never done this before. Um, so bear with me while I try to figure out what we're doing. So the two things that uh, I need to know in order to do that are the, um, the combustion chamber uh, CCs and the deck height of the engine. Um, so we're gonna take, um, we're gonna do the CCs first and uh, we're gonna take one of these discs, I gotta wipe it off. Um, just to cap this guy off, I got to put a plug in so that it doesn't drain. Um, and then we're going to fill this full of water, um, measured of course, uh, to, to get an idea as to what that is. Um, and then we're going to have to put a piston on to measure the deck height. So we're going to fill this up first, uh, to get that number. And then, uh, we can try to fit a jug and see what happens. So these, um, these uh, AA 500 series cylinder heads from AA Performance or AA Pistons, one or the other, uh, use a later style um, like uh, bus plug that's a 14 millimeter long reach. Um, that Bosch part number is W8CC. Uh, the factory number is WR8AC. Um, so I need to have the right plugs in here to do this. So we're going to take the little disc and put it in. Yeah, and fill that up good. And then we're going to take my uh, my uh, enema syringe. And we're going to right up to 60 cc's. Right? Okay. And we're going to fill this up until there's no more air in it. Sixty-one, two, we'll call it sixty-two. So I'm gonna write that down. Sixty-two. And we're gonna write it over here. Um, I'm gonna measure this one out and record that. And then uh, we're gonna set up the jugs on the engine so that we can get a deck height and then do some more math. Okay, so some things to note. Uh, most aftermarket pistons will actually give you the measurement of the piston on the top. 87 uh, or 86.95, uh, 87 by 69 will give you a 1641 displacement, whereas the 88s I believe will give you 
1680. Uh, factory uh, piston for the 1600s was 85 and a half. You'll also note this little arrow over here. This means uh, that the piston has to be installed in a way that makes sure this arrow faces towards the flywheel. Um, so I'm going to uh, kind of brake clean all these real quick, make, thing, make sure everything's nice and clean. I'm gonna wait for this truck to drive by. Make sure everything's nice and clean and then we'll uh, oil it all up and uh, kind of loosely install it on the engine. Um, pretty much the way you would as if you were going uh, for a final install, but you're not gonna put the clips in here because you're gonna end up taking it apart a hundred times anyway. All right, so what we're looking for, what we're looking for is kind of the flat spot here. So, so it starts to drop there because we're going the other way. And then when we come back up, it starts to go back down again. So we're looking for, that seems to be at 56. So we're just gonna go right up to 56. Go back again, right there, okay. So that's good. Now I've got to get that stupid tool on here again and Oh. So because this is an 8 mil case, it's going to get these are going to get torqued to 18 foot pounds whereas if this were a 10 mil case, it would get 22. Okay, so now, I wonder if you can see that number. You can see this number that I have here. That is the thickness of this plate. I'm gonna take my dial indicator now, make sure that I have this set to zero, because these have a little thing that comes out the bottom like that. So we're just gonna go, whoop. come on, come on. Oh, it's on that side, okay. Do that, right? All right, that's going to one on top dead. And then you're going to take this guy, put some shoe on the flange here. Of the way until it seats on the opposite side snap ring. And your upside snap ring in. in and just give it a make sure that it's seated good and push it all the way down ow okay now I can bring number two all the way up thusly all right now don't forget don't forget to put your Cylinder reflectors in. Okay. And I like to use the windage tubes that have the longer end on. I'm going to put these seam face up. You can see the seam on the inside of the tube.
gonna start snugging these down on the bottom side first, just to get it a little bit more even. Because obviously the push rods are sticking us out some. snug and the head sitting evenly on everybody for once. We're going to torque all these down and there is a procedure. I'm going to see if I can get a better angle in here for you. So your first torque sequence is going to be at 11 pounds and you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then your second torque, torque sequence is gonna be at 22 pounds. And you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or at least that's how I've always done it. So we're gonna do the first one at 11 pounds. And then we'll go over and do the 22s. it for this episode we finally have the top end together on the uh, super 1641 with a hot cam uh, so the next time I'm going to show you how to uh, assemble your valve train and set your valves um, and uh, as well as putting all the sheet metally bits on and uh, so thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already leave a like leave a comment share with your friends and uh, we'll see you at the next one